Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's preview as the Bulls take on the Western Province in the first of the two Curry Cup semi-finals. We are now officially at the business end of the competition and for whatever the Curry Cup was worth in terms of, you know, the controversy surrounding it, um, you know, with, with games being cancelled, games being called off due to COVID, teams being weakened, you know, we all kind of have to put that behind us and just sort of get ourselves geared up for what will be three more matches before another team will write their name into history and become Curry Cup champions. The question is, can the Bulls defend their title? Can the Western Province upset them before tomorrow the Greekers will be taking on the Sharks down in Durban to try and get themselves into a very unlikely Curry Cup semi-final, I mean final rather, considering where they were just a few months ago. But today we are talking about Bulls versus the Western Province. Before we go any further, please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. We will be live for this match tonight. Lokanya will be taking you through it, and then I'll be joining you tomorrow for the Greek quiz versus the Sharks. As always, a big thank you to our sponsor at the moment, which is Manscaped, who are the number one brand for men's below the waist grooming needs. They've got the right tools for your family jewels, and you can get yourself 20% off as well as free shipping using the code FOREVER. So in checkout, go and check out on manscaped.com, use the code FOREVER, get yourself 20% off as well as free shipping worldwide. They have just launched in South Africa, but they are available in various countries all over the world. So go and check out manscaped.com to get that discount right. Now, in terms of the teams, quite a few big calls from both sides, particularly with, Bull, with the Bulls, with Jake White bringing a lot of his sort of his big names back. We've seen the fact that, you know, they'd pretty much guaranteed themselves a home semifinal and were pretty sure about getting that home fun, um home final as well. And as a result, we in the last couple of weeks, we did see Jake White start to sort of test his squad and sort of identify, you know, where he may, might need to bolster, where he's all right, and sort of you know, decide which players are ready to play at, at Curry Cup and probably more importantly at United Rugby Championship level. But for the semi-final tonight, he has brought back his big guns and they will be led by Marcel Kutsia. So if we look at the team, this is how the Bulls will run onto the park later tonight. The front row, Geras Dinekamp, Skalky Rasmus and Mornay Smith probably would have been um, Jan Krabala with Skalky Rasmus on the bench, but with Krabala having moved um, into the Bok camp and is currently over in Australia. Skalky Rasmus gets the nod as the starting hooker for the semi-final. Yanko Swanepoel, Ruan Nokia, no surprises there. That lock combination are ever-present and just continue to grow together. You know, I think in many ways, Yanko Swanepoel's form and, and role has gone under the radar to a certain degree because Ruan Nokia has just been in such scintillating form of late. But Marcel Kutsia will captain the side. Honor Buerta Elric Lowe joins him in what is a formidable loose trio. So much talent and quality and class and the Bulls in the loose forwards at the moment and that starting loose trio just shows it there. Zach Berger gets the nod at number nine and he will partner Johan Gersen in the fly half jersey as you'd imagine. The rest of the back line, we've got the speedsters in Madosh Tamwen, Cornell Hendricks, Cornell Hendricks having to play on the centre last year in the semi-final, I mean in the wing rather last year in the semi-finals or rather this year in the semi-finals earlier this year, you know he was playing very very well inside centre but the addition of Harold Force and Lionel Pooh and the brilliance of those two together as a combination that's played a lot of rugby together. They do get the nod in the center pairing. David Creel, as you'd imagine, keeps the number 15. Off the bench, Jan Hendrik Vessels continues his sort of uh, career path as a hooker. Um, playing very well at the moment is, is um, Vessels, and I think someone who's probably sort of growing into his role. And I think that we're probably coming to sort of concede that if he is going to make it at the professional level, it probably has to be at hooker because the scrummaging has been sort of found wanting when he has played as a prop. Very, very impressive youngster. Sapiro Mantanzima is on the bench next to the huge and vastly experienced Jacques Van Roy. And Jacques Duplessis, speaking of size, doesn't get much better than Jacques Duplessis. He and WJ Steenkamp will cover the rest of the pack. The very exciting youngster, Keegan Johannes, is the reserve scrum off. Chris Smith will continue to play a very important role off the bench. Scores a lot of points as Chris Smith and a lot of trouble when he does come on, Shavino Jakobs does not make the starting lineup, but he will still be involved in the number 23 jumper. For the Western Province, the big news is no Evan Ruiz this weekend. Unfortunately, will not be able to recover from the injury. A slight knock that is keeping him out. They will not risk him for today's match, but could be available for the final should they make it. Some very big calls, particularly in the front row. Ascari and Tibeni is recalled in the number two jersey. Leon Lyon starts at loose head, as you'd imagine. But Sazi Sande, after the fantastic impact he made a week ago against the Sharks. He earns a start. And for somebody who's been on the fringes, it um, was really good to see him come on, make a very big impact, and now being back to start a Curry Cup semi-final at Loftus against the best side in the country. So a huge moment for the youngster. Ernst van Rijn will captain the side um, next to Johan de Toy. 
And then we've got Dion Ferri, who will continue the number six jump. It was very impressive last weekend against the Sharks. Marcel Tennyson comes into the side. And in the absence of Evan Ruiz, um, Western Province low knee from the Lions, will, um, Hajiba Diamani will start at number eight. Um, had a decent start to the game last week, but still hasn't quite sort of had that blockbuster game where he's really sort of stamped his mark and, and, and shown his pedigree. But hopefully this is an opportunity for him on the biggest stage of all. Very highly rated Paul DeVette starts next to Tim Sweel, who when has his good days can sort of really turn a game on its head. But also I'm, I'm behind a struggling pack and sometimes be put under a little bit of pressure. But there's plenty of experience in the back line and the likes of Jean de Jong and Ruan Nell. Ruan Nell will partner Edward van der Merwe as the two wings. Jean de Jong's partner for the day is Dan Duplessis, who has got an extended run at Inside Centre throughout the Curry Cup and is really starting to show that he is definitely an inside center to keep uh, your eyes on. Sergio Pearson continues to play in the 15 jumper. No Warwick Halant, although he has been named in the larger squad, but will not at this stage and will not be named in the final 23. Off the bench, the very exciting youngster, Andre Hugo Fenter, is another 16 jumper. Dion Bleuler and Netling for Shear are the two props. Very, very interesting to see Netling for Shear on the bench and Sully Sunday being back to start. Um, but should be quite a good impact from Netling for Shear later on in the game. Justin Masson covers the locks and Namak Kleber will be making his appearance off the bench. Godlin similar the reserve scrum half. We sort of come to know Godlin similar and Paul DeVette as being very, very much um, the sort of two front running scrum halves in the absence of Hershey Yankees. And they both offer something a bit different. Both quite quick. I think Godlin Sim has probably got better sort of um, you know, front foot ball, and um, he gets the ball up quite quickly, but Paul DeVette is rapid himself, um, and is very highly rated by John Dobson. Rickers Vittorius has, hasn't had as many opportunities as he probably would have liked compared to last season when he was playing next to Dan Dude but with the arrival of Jean de Jong has found getting game time a little bit more difficult, and Tristan Lates is the um, outside back replacement on the bench. You look at the two sides, and I think, you know, you've got to back the Bulls. They've just got so much quality, but there's a lot of exciting players in the likes of Western Province. They will need big games out of their key players. Kara Interbeni, Karen Springmock, uh, well, well, um, was was a Springbok member of the squad a couple of months ago. He will be vital, as will Dion Free, as will the likes of Tim Sweel and John Young. So where the, the Western Province have got, I wouldn't say the edge, but have got some very big um What's some very big positives for them is that they've got some very experienced players in key positions. It's going to be in the middle of that front row. You know, Ernst Rain, the captain in the second row. Dion Ferri's done it all, been there, done that in the loose trio. Um, Tim Sweel and Jean de Jong, you know, you're two very important. Tim Sweel, obviously, as the as the fly half controlling the game. Jean de Jong, very important, for example, defensively and 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 on the attack as well. Somebody like Ruan Nal who won't panic. Um, Sergio Peterson as well has got plenty of experience. So they'll be very vital to make sure the likes of Edel van der Merwe and Dan Dubessie sort of don't retreat into this, um, their shell and really sort of rise to the occasion. This gap match always promises us points and drama. You know, the north, um, north-south north value between the West Province and Bulls is always a very, very good game. It's one of those games the West province always seem to manage to sort of lift themselves up so it sort of almost wouldn't surprise me if they were to shock the bulls i wouldn't surprise you but it wouldn't surprise me if they shocked the bulls and then lost it next weekend um you know i think if there's one side who who can sort of lift themselves up and beat the bulls um you know against the run of play or against the grain it probably is the western province i think when the sharks take on the bulls that is the two best squads in the country and the two best teams sort of playing the best rugby. The Western Province beating the Bulls tomorrow would definitely be an upset. So I'll probably back the Bulls by about a margin of about five to ten points. I think they just have too much quality and more importantly, maybe too much experience across, especially the key positions. I mean, Marcel Cotsier, Harold Forster, Lionel Puri, Jan Hussen, um, Cornell Hendricks, you know, Jacques Fenoy coming off the bench. Just so much experience on Oberta across the squad. Um, that I think that that experience will probably be, prove to be the difference in the clash tonight. Let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel as well. My name is Steven. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll chat to you guys very, very soon.